New improvements are being made at a busy intersection on the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Our Taylor Farmer has spent the day out there and she is joining us with the latest on what we can expect to see. So show us, Taylor. Hey, well, we're here at the Prisma Health Swamp Rabbit Trail intersection where it crosses at SC 253. Now, this is a very busy road, but SCDOT says that they're trying to make it safer for those who are using the trail. A few days ago, the South Carolina Department of Transportation added radars to the traffic lights to sense trail users and give them a green light without even having to touch the button. Mike Parks, who's been cycling for at least 15 years, tells us he was hit by a young teenager driving a car in 2019. He says he spent two months in the hospital and almost died. He continues to ride now, but preaches to others that you can't be too careful. I think it, it, was, it was a great move. It may really drop down the hazard of trying to get across these four lanes. We spent a few hours out on the trail earlier today where lots of people tell us the new sensors make them feel more comfortable crossing the road. Sometimes so that you don't have to come to like a complete stop and restart because sometimes that can probably be even more dangerous to like, you know, get across quickly and stuff like that as opposed to just it's green so you can just keep your momentum and keep going. However, others tell us they actually like touching the button and feeling a sense of control. They say they feel the sensors could be a waste of money. Relying on the technology of the sensor might be a little bit uh, scary. I like I like touching the button and knowing that, you know, it beeps, it knows I'm here. I kind of pause. Um, I don't think coming up, I'm not, I'm still going to hesitate. I'm still going to slow down just because traffic's so erratic around here. While the new sensors have had some controversy, everyone on the trail agreed that no matter how you're using the trail, it's important to look both ways before crossing. We have a lot of tourists and if you ride a lot, you know, this is sort of a road you have to be careful, but uh, the tourists, I don't think OEs are aware of that and the cars sometimes are pretty fast. While the sensors are new and people are navigating the changes, most everyone we talked to said they get excited when new additions are made to the Swamp Rabbit Trail. Live in Greenville County, Taylor Farmer, 7 News. All right, Taylor, thanks so much.